All of you saltwater guys know how important it is to flush your outboard engines after a day out on the water. I always find this task cumbersome and wanted to build something like I saw on the Intrepid boats. Instead of building the cabinet from scratch, I chose to use a battery switch box uh, that's an off-the-shelf uh, product from Boat Outfitters. The next component in this system is a brass ball valve, and this one's from Anderson Brass Company in North Carolina. Uh, what I liked about it, aside from being made in the United States, is that the switch mechanism itself has indents so that you can positive, you get a positive reinforcement when you go from off to port to start. The next part you need is a bulkhead fitting for the water inlet valve. You want one that's all stainless steel, has a three quarter inch female hose fitting, and has an end cap. Okay, the fittings we're using for this project are mostly brass elbow fittings. Uh, these two that feed the port and starboard motors are half inch NPT by 3 8 barb uh, to match the hose that goes under the uh, engine cowl. Uh, the top feeder is half inch NPT to half inch uh, barb. Uh, the inlet is uh, half inch NPT to half inch barb. And then under the engine itself, we're going to have T-fittings uh, to tie into the stock flush system. Using 3 8 inside diameter uh, silicone hose to run from the valve to all the way back to the engines. The back of the battery box switch has a big hole in it and I'm not going to need that. So I'm using it as a template to uh, create a new uh, back for the box. The hole for the bulkhead fitting will go through and through, uh, but for the valve, we're only going to go a half inch deep so that we can cover the back side of the valve. Here I'm using a spade bit to remove only a half inch of the material so we can conceal the back side of the valve. Use Teflon tape and mount the fittings to the valve before you mount the valve to the box. So I've got all my fittings now screwed in. And mount it to the board. I'm going to uh, test, fit, test fit this on the box and make sure I like the depth. After test fitting I was pretty certain that the box was too deep and I was going to want to cut it down and make it more shallow. Cut about an inch off the end of the box just to make it more shallow so I wouldn't have to reach in as far to hook the hose up. I found these labels online and I'm going to use them to mark the valve settings, uh, one for off, uh, port motor, and starboard motor. Okay, that's my finished product. Got my switcher in there. All my hookups there. Next project will be uh, installing this in the boat.